Here we are. The whole family's here. Uncle Harvey, Auntie Susan even making an appearance. So let's make some farming decisions. So in this decision here, I'm only going to go with one shoot per uh, spur, and I've got to make a decision if I want this one or this one. This looks stronger, but it's higher up on the sap stream. This one's lower. Can you so point I'll to the bud before you cut, cut it off? There, there's a bud right here. That little teeny guy. And there's a like bud on this thing. other side. Clip and that the, bud. And those we don't two. Want that thing there we go. These two will shoot. Uh, new growth next year and I'll get a cluster off of this one and I'll get a cluster off of this one. Can you point to some of last year's uh, cuts we made in the decisions on the vine? Well right in here. Like, like these? Yeah we, we, we took those off maybe two three years ago. We took this one off uh, probably three or four years ago and a new shoot sparked out of that spur in this area here which leaves it closer to the vine and when which I shoot is where we'd like it. When a shoot sparks out, where what does that contain? What does that hold, and what does that mean for our farming? Well, it's a predictable uh, harvest for next year in that we're limiting the harvest to a certain degree because we're we're saying to this spur, you're only going to have two shoots coming out. If we if we left this one on, we would have four shoots coming out or doubling our load. But we're trying to do is stay around three tons per acre, and because historically the size of our yep. Uh, the size of our cluster is such that that's what we get three tons per acre. Hey, on this one, can you show everybody in the world that's going to watch this how we can cut our farming production in half and have our quality yield go up in one, one clip? Oh, there it is. And then we'll take these out and these out. So there's too much uh, activity there at the end of the vine. So if you go down here, you can see that we made literally dozens of decisions just in a plant, and come over to here, and you start and you begin, begin to make the same decisions. And this is what it looks like ahead of time after we pre-prune. Exactly right. So you make these decisions so that your next year's crop is predictable and has the right amount of yield per acre. So this took you about a minute. A minute and a half per plant. Probably uh, two minutes a plant. We have. Um, and uh, let's uh, give you a scope of how many plants. Plants per acre. And how many acres do we have here? Seventeen. So we have seventeen times eleven seventy per acre times two minutes. We've got a lot of work to do. So you look at this area. Somehow it shot up. A spur position there and we want the spur positions to be six inches apart so we'll totally eliminate that spur position and now we've got that six inches that we always talking about where we want our vines to only produce I got a I have a bud right there yep. I've got a bud here so there you go thanks thanks farmer dad Birds fall from the window ledge above mine, then they flap their wings at the last second.